Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let me share you a new features which are upgraded in the Realme UI 2.0 based on Android 11 OS. So this is the Realme 7 Pro smartphone. So I have already posted a video related to the re this Realme 7 Pro smartphone, which is actually launched in the Realme UI version 1.0 based on Android 10 OS. But in the recent days, it is actually upgraded to the Realme UI 2.0 skin based on the Android 11 OS. Now in this video, I'm going to share you with you yeah, what are the new features contains in the new Realme UI 2.0. Well, let's get started into this video guys. Well guys, now the first feature we are going to see is the create your own wallpaper. So in case if you are already taken some of the photos like that means. So now you can able to create a wallpaper using that photos. So just go to any of your uh, captured photos and then click on the more option and select the set as wallpaper. Now, after uh, given that option now here is an uh, icon like this so like a bulb like that icon so just tap on that and then it is automatically use some of the AI algorithm now you will get a some of your uh, new uh, generated wallpapers so these are the new generated wallpapers so just click on the set wallpaper and click on the apply and select your uh, default space and that's it now your new wallpaper has been set up. so based on the photos you are clicking you can able to create your own unique wallpapers now the next feature is that different dark modes so already we have seen the dark mode feature so which is already updated in the Android 10 version itself now in the dark mode so you will get here so different styles so just go to the settings and there go to the for the display and brightness and uh, just uh, select the dark mode and after that after selecting the dark mode you will get a dark mode settings so just tap on that now you will get a three different styles so one is a enhanced so which means it is a more darkest uh, background and after that it's a medium so it is uh, slightly the colors will be slightly less at the background colors and then gentle so it is uh, similar to the so gray color like that so under the gray color shade so you can able to select uh, three different styles so based on your uh, uh, customization you and your uh, viewability you can uh, use any of these styles in the dark mode settings and the next feature is that uh, so already we have your feature smart sidebar now the smart sidebar has been customized so after uh, enabling the smart sidebar so uh, at the at the bottom here is a plus button and after that now the smart sidebar the setting option is actually categorized so like tools and apps so you can select the apps whatever you are installed here in the tools that is some of the default already system generated six tools so you can able to select any of the tools as per your wish and now the next feature is that so already we having a do not disturb mode now in the do not disturb mode there is a one more option so in the quick settings in the notification bar so here is a do not disturb so there is an uh, and a drop down key so just tap on that and select the more button more option now you will see a schedules option so in the do not disturb mode now you can able to schedule the do not disturb mode so like uh, you can select uh, you can create your own time slot so based on the time so it is automatically scheduled for that time for the do not disturb mode so in case if you are attending meeting or, or in the night time you can uh, able you can schedule the do not disturb mode for getting out from the disturbance now the next new update is the sort apps in the app drawer so this is the app drawer so in the app drawer so now the new option is that manage so and there is the sort option so now you can able to sort the apps by name install name time and the most used so in case install time is given means so the newly installed apps will be firstly listed and for example in case if you have given the most used given means so the recently used apps will be listed at the front and the next feature is the emergency SOS so already we have the emergency SOS feature so in the settings option and then security there is an emergency SOS so in the emergency SOS you have to given the emergency information like uh, all the things and after giving that and also you can uh, give the emergency number also you can add the emergency contact number so after giving all the things so once you have uh, made the triple time pressing the power on off button so 
so it is actually displays the uh, emergency information and the emergency contact number you have given so in case if you are in the emergency or if you are need some of the security like that means you can just tap uh, the power on off button for the three times continuously and after that it will show the emergency contact information like that and even though if your phone is in the locked state also you can able to enable that this emergency sos and using this also the any user can able to make a call to the emergency contact number you can uh, save the emergency contact number here so in case if you add some of the emergency contact number means so some of the person other uh, third party person also can able to call to that emergency uh, contact number so even if the phone is in the locked state also now the next new update is the sleep capsule so this update is actually under the uh, realme lab settings so the realme lab means that is a realme laboratory which is means uh, so beta features so here is a sleep capsule option so this sleep capsule is uh, nothing but here yeah, so making your phone to the idle condition once you set up the schedule down down time like uh, from time and to time and the duration like that means so the phone is goes to the idle mode and you can't able to use your smartphone for that particular period but in case you want to use some of the needed apps means you can uh, make the app allow list so here is the option app allow list you can enable the some of the apps you need so uh, in that particular period you can still able to use that particular apps only so which are listed in the app allow list and apart from that you can't able to use other application in your smartphone but in case if you want to uh, use your smartphone urgently like that means you can uh, forcefully restart your smartphone to escape from the sleep capsule so but that also uh, there is only a three chances will be left for a month so you can able to forcefully restart your smartphone up to three times a month and uh, and be Beyond that you can't able to restart so before you will activate the sleep capsule you have to so plan that so whether you are having any emergency or if you have any important work like that so better you can uh, enable this option so during the night time or in case if you are uh, not using a smartphone uh, like that time only now the next new update is that app lock in the quick settings already we have the app lock feature now this app lock is actually comes under the notification bar in the quick settings so in the quick settings you will find the app lock so actually if it is not available here means just tap on the edit option and the app lock will be listed here so already i have moved the app lock to the quick settings so in case if you need to go to the app lock means so just go to the notification quick setting and simply press this app lock Okay. so that's it now the next feature we are going to see is the system cloner feature which is almost similar to the windows multiple logins so and this feature is already existed in the honor and poco smartphones so using this feature you can able to make it dual accounts in your smartphone now to enable this feature so firstly go to the settings option and there you will find the option of privacy settings and here you will get the system cloner option so just tap on that so i have already enabled the second space account in case if you are the first one so just click on the get started option so once you have clicked on that now just uh, put the password for the second space and after that you will get created with the second space in your smartphone now using the second space so in case if you are uh, now i actually put the uh, password like double one double two double three so while putting this password now it actually goes to the second space similarly i can go to the next space by putting with the another password which is a one two three four five six so by putting this password so it actually goes to the main account which is the first account so like this you by putting with the different password you can go to the different space and also it has uh, some more features like you can and able to import or export between the between these two accounts so it is one of the best feature in the realme ui 2.0 android 11 update now what your favorite features which are i have covered in this top 10 plus features so let me know in the comment section below and in case if your user already using the realme sound pro smartphone means and in case if you received the realme ui 2.0 uh, update means so let me share your thoughts in the comment section too and that's all about this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys